WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 685. Nasdaq's up 416. S&P's up 112. That's a gain inside the Nasdaq, folks, of 3.3%. Inside the uh, S&P, 2.67. Dow Industrials, 2. Gold. Gold contract trading up 460 at 1893 an ounce. We have silver down 26... 29 cents at $23.16 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $3.43, $105.42 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 13 ticks, trading 119.12. 30 year down 9 ticks at 141.08. And the 10 year right now is yielding 2.85. And then King Dollar, check this out, man. This is pretty intense, man. King Dollar is trading up 680 ticks. 103.666. Now, that's not the heavy part. The heavy part, folks, is this, is that King Dollar is going after its highs. And, you know, you, it, the bearish part of this, you could say you got a triple top. The bullish part is that you have these wide price bars that, you know, wide price bars like to go higher, folks. So you can see when this is laid out, man, uh, you break this area. You know, we got to 103.928. If you get to like 105, 121's coming at us, okay? The highs that were generated in 2002. So this is about as intense as you can get. It's amazing to me that the gold market is actually holding up with that aspect of the U.S. dollar. We get open, we take a look at the SPY, what you have with the SPY, you're off the lows here. Bottom line, we'll see whether this thing can hold. You don't have any volume. That's the real bottom line. You get 69 million shares in the SPY. Coming, coming against 132, you know, coming into a Friday, you're not going to have volume tomorrow. So the bottom line is that we'll see whether it gets over the highs, closes underneath the highs. My take is that we're still building cause to get into and take out the low in the SPY, which is that 410. We go into the NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX, same type of setup. NDX is a little more volume going for today. Um, you know, well, actually, we hit a low yesterday of 111, did 73. You probably should do 83 or something. Um, and if you get a bounce, the Qs can get to 350, 335. You're at 328 right now. Um, what they have done is that they got back inside the range. It had that high volume low, got back inside that range. But guess what? That's the good news. The bad news is that now you get another high volume low that was laying out from the low that was generated yesterday. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.